I can teach you how to chase the difference between a high quality champagne and your average bottle of bubbles in just three steps. I should know, I used to work at Christie's Wine Auctions and it was one of my jobs there to be able to tell the difference between say, a high quality champagne and your average bottle of bubbles. The first thing you need to be able to do to taste the difference between a champagne and a sparkling wine is to be able to know the difference between the two. The difference between a champagne is that A, it's made in the region of Champagne in France, and the other thing is that it's made in a very specific method called the method champenoise. Now, you don't really need to know all the specifics of how it's made. What I will tell you is the biggest difference is that a true champagne is made when the fermentation is the thing that gives it its extra bubbles and that happens inside the bottle itself. So imagine the difference between a bottle of wine, a bottle of champagne that has the bubbles produced and fermented into the wine versus a bottle of wine that has the bubbles just injected into the bottle. It's kind of like the difference between when you're cooking and you season the cooking all along the way, adding the salt and the spices, versus you get all the way through the dish and you just all add all those things on top. It's a very different thing, right? How does this affect the stuff in your glass? Well, in a champagne, those bubbles are seamlessly integrated into the wine and they're just part of the wine itself. In a bottle of sparkling wine, it's as though somebody added them in and you know what they say, easy to go in, easy to go out. So those bubbles don't really last as long in your glass. Step number one is you want to assess the bubbles of the wine. You want to take a look at these two wines and see, is there kind of like a frothy rim on one of them? Are the bubbles very big? Do they start out just kind of bubbling up very vigorously and quickly? And then do they die very quickly too? Probably a sign that you have a lower quality sparkling wine in place. This quality of the bubbles is what I would call the finesse of a wine and it's one of the ways that you can tell the difference between a higher quality wine and a lower quality wine. Step number two, what can you smell? Does it smell like a really grapey aroma that hits you over the head? Well, you might have a bottle of cold duck, my friend, if that's the case. Now, on the other hand, do you have a wine that has, ooh, a lot of nuanced smells. Are there a lot of things that you can smell and you can almost maybe not even identify all the aromas, but if you could, maybe you would smell some golden apple, some toast, maybe even some nutty notes. This is the sign that you might have a champagne. So this, my friend, is what I call complexity in a wine. So a wine can have more complex smells, and this also is one of the telltale signs of a higher quality wine versus a lower quality wine. And then for the final analysis, step number three, we finally get to taste the wine. Okay, so for the taste of the wine, what you wanna do is take a small sip and pay attention to the bubbles again from step number one. Go back and confirm that finesse quality. And then the other thing to pay attention to is something called the length, which is just a fancy way of saying like how long does that flavor last in your mouth after you sip the wine. So what you actually do is super simple. After you've swallowed the wine, how many seconds does that flavor last in your mouth? One difference you're gonna find in these two wines is that the champagne is probably going to have a longer length to it. Hopefully it does. So now all you have to think about when you pick up that glass of champagne is, hmm, are the bubbles seamlessly integrated? Are they fine? Do they last? Do I smell a fair amount of complexity. Do I smell a lot of things in that wine? And then the piece de resistance is, do those flavors last in my mouth? Does it all get come into one complete package? If so, you probably have a high quality champagne. This is the difference between a bottle of champagne and an average bottle of sparkling wine. Let me give you one other pointer, which is that, the quality of sparkling wine all over the world has become higher and higher 
and many producers who make cava and other sparkling wines, they're starting to use that method champenoise that the champagne producers do. So you will find sometimes that there are going to be sparkling wines out there that aren't champagne that may stump you. And trust me, they would probably stump the majority of wine connoisseurs too. So don't worry if that happens to you. It's actually a really lovely thing that the quality of winemaking just gets better and better over time. Remember, wine is really about your own personal taste. Hopefully these tips will be able to help you discern what is a high quality wine from a lower quality wine. And with my guidance, you are going to be able to taste wine like a wine connoisseur and be able to get more and more enjoyment out of every wine you taste. Subscribe now to my channel to be able to get more of my guidance. And cheers! <laughs>